Uh, what made Curtly Ambrose the bowler he was? Also, why was he so underrated? That's Siddharth. Um, I'm not sure he was underrated. I think what happened was he came on the back of Ghana holding Marshall, even Walsh to a certain extent. And, you know, you can only keep so many great players in your mind at any one time. And I think that, I think Ghana's underrated as well as Ambrose, perhaps because holding Roberts and Marshall were seen as more skillful and those other guys were seen maybe as more tall. Um, what made Ambrose incredible was his ability to be accurate, his height, his pace, uh, and I think his discipline as well. A, a little bit, him and Glenn McGraw were very similar. I think they came at bowling in a slightly different way. I think he, he was a bit more of a predator and Glenn McGraw was a bit more of a... Uh, I think Glenn McGraw would sit back and wait a little bit more whereas Curtly sort of made things happen slightly more. Um, but very, very similar, even, you know, you know, similar height. Ambrose was probably a lot quicker when he was younger than McGrath. Um, but by the end of their careers, probably a similar pace as well. But when you have the skills to move the ball both ways, as they both did, which is impeccable risk control, obviously, when you have the height and the accuracy and a good enough amount of speed, um, I think all those things come together. And then they, they both had incredible brains. And I think McGrath probably gets more credit because if you look at what happened in Australian cricket before McGrath, there really hadn't been a good bowler uh, for over a decade um, outside of Lily. Whereas even in his own side, um, Ambrose had Bishop, who was probably as talented as Ambrose, but obviously injured. And he had Courtney Walsh. Um, also coming on the back of just legend after legend after legend after le legend. But yeah, I think that combination of pace, height, accuracy and the, the the kind of brain that Curtly Ambrose had is what made him incredible. Um, I don't know if he gets in an all-time West Indies bowling attack and yet has a very good claim to be in the best, what, 10 bowlers, the fast bowlers that ever lived. Um, and on average, probably even further up that, that order. Um, for me, uh, I, I thought he was incredible. I thought, he, I, I always wonder if him or McGrath was better. Um, they, they were both... They were both absolute forces for nature. And someone like Courtney Walsh was an absolutely brilliant bowler. And I don't think even that close to being in their um, uh, area. And, and Courtney Walsh was extraordinary as well.